going on everybody, Joe Munoz. I wanna to talk to you today about the CPCS, the cabin pressure control system on your 737 Classic. You see it right here on the left side of your screen. And what I wanna to talk to you today about is the three modes. You've got auto, standby, and manual, and specifically the cabin altitude warning horn and the memory items, right? Cabin altitude warning horn is gonna sound anytime the cabin altitude exceeds 10,000 feet. Cabin altitude exceeds 10,000 feet, right? Now, your memory items, Don mask, set regulator 100%, established crew communication. Here comes the interesting part, pressurization mode selector, manual AC, outflow valve close. And if the cabin is controllable, hopefully it is, let's talk about what does controllable mean to you, right? Maybe you're cruising along, singing a song, and you get the cabin altitude warning horn, and now you're left to figure out is my cabin controllable or not, right? Now, you need to take a look at the differential pressure, the vertical speed indicator for the cabin altitude, right? As well as the actual cabin altitude indication that you see there on that display. And what you need to figure out is, is it a rapid depressurization or is it something that I'm able to toggle the outflow valve and see the VSI needle go up and down? I can maintain it to maybe 150 feet per minute or I can bring it down to zero. Is there any way, any shape or form that I have control over the VSI needle, the rate at which it's climbing or descending, right? So I'm trying to go through a process of elimination to understand, do I actually have a leak due to a hole? or potentially maybe even a seal that's bad in the aircraft? Or is it something to do with the outflow valve that maybe, just maybe, the cabin altitude has increased, but we can actually control it through very careful, very strict analysis of those gauges. All right, now let's talk about the DC PCS, otherwise known as a Digital Cabin Pressure Control System, since you happen to fly both aircraft in your fleet. Now, with the DC PCS, the manual mode is only manual. There is no manual AC in manual DC, right? Now, it happens to be a DC motor, but the procedure is more or less the same. You select it to manual, and you close the outflow valve. And notice the switch, the open-close switch, is a left-right switch, which conveniently, if you push the switch inboard to the left, you are closing the outflow valve, which is going to keep air in. So inboard switch selection should keep air in. And if you go outboard, right, outwards with that switch, you're going to take your air out, which essentially means you're going to be opening the outflow valve. I should also mention, as you're climbing out, you're going to want to make periodic checks of your pressurization system. You're going to do this by referencing the gauges on the overhead panel. And most importantly as well, you're going to want to take a look at your differential pressure. Differential pressure should be increasing. That's the large needle. And your cabin altitude should also be increasing, but it should not exceed 8,000. But I do want to point out one little tip that you can keep as a mental note in mind. Now, this happens to be that the small needle should be chasing the large needle, right? So small dog chase big dog, okay? So this little needle should always be below or behind the large needle. So when you look up there, just ensure that your vertical speed, rate of cabin climb, right, is not excessive. And at the same time, most importantly, your differential pressure is indeed climbing. And in addition to that, little needle is below the larger needle. This is extremely important and crucial as well when you're climbing through 10,000 feet as now you're getting into an area where hypoxia will tend to set in, especially at nighttime. So analyze carefully and take periodic assessments of your pressurization status. So that's the quick little lesson here for the day. If I can help you anyway, reach out to me. And remember, always do well, excel, and analyze everything extremely carefully.